What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Kaiju number eight. Today we're doing episodes five and six. Very excited after what happened last episode. The world is getting a lot bigger, a lot scarier. Remember, if you guys want the full uncut versions of these reactions, as well as all the other movies, shows, everything on the channel, check out that Patreon down below. And if you guys don't mind following me on Twitch, because we are live on Twitch right now watching these, we always stream all the reactions before we post them on YouTube and Twitter. Twitch, Patreon, I'm out of it. Let's not waste any more time. Let's hop right into it. Kaiju number eight, episodes five and six. Let's do it. The results, the results. Okay. I've always wanted to do this, whether it's a college exception or something. I've never done that. We open it on three and I'm always nervous about being rejected though. Examination results, the way they're doing it, he's gonna fail. There's no way. Maybe he passed. Ichikawa as well. Most of the people I I assumed, not Kafka though. Obviously, she would be the rising star. He's like, it's not just she's in a different league. It's still, you know, competitive. Yeah, give us what's going on, Ichikawa. Iharu. Uruhashi. They're still not going to tell us? Come on. So if he's not in this class, he's not passing? My boy Kafka? What's going on? The Kaiju Defense Force? She's like, eh, eh you're welcome. Eh, you're welcome. Eh. I'm wondering the same thing. <laughs> Do not come in like that. Interesting. I think he. That's true. He was a great support unit. Don't get me wrong. W response. That I will agree with. He had you cracking up. I think he knows there's a little bit deeper going on though. Because when he gets, he's the type of character that he's joking the whole time, but when he gets serious, he's dead serious, you know? He's being enrolled as a cadet. So he's not an officer, he's a cadet. He's starting lower than them. Okay, I like this. I like this. I told you this man's always well ahead of what he seems to be. Oh, I'm curious about him. I literally exactly what I said. He jokes all the time, but when he's serious, he's dead ass serious. Yeah, we, sadly, I would love to tell them, but we cannot. Yeah, we can't. We can't tell them. <laughs> Save an old man's life. <laughs> Save an old man. Hey, not only do I believe it, but I give you permission. Kafka is one of those guys. I he, he also believes it too. If anything, he would want himself to die if he was a threat to humankind. You know, That's why he's a W main character. That's what I'm saying. He never was the most amazing when he started out, but he's making great progress. I love how we have two different rivalries. We have this guy, that guy. We have Iharu and uh, Ichikawa. Right? We have a multitude of side characters that are cool. Hey, 1%. That's better than zero. I love how he always chases Shinomiya. 
Kafka might be one of the funniest main characters. I swear he's like already on like Luffy level. He is hilarious. That's a cool and bath background wallpaper thing. Was the Demon Slayer? And those are the ancient kaijus of old times. Uh. <laughs> what the spare tire is wild. I'm 27, so <laughs> I know exactly what he's talking about. Meanwhile, this dude's fucking jacked to a T. Oh, wow. That's a cool story. I love when people are inspired, but when they're saved younger by the heroes that they want to be, you know, like, oh, that just reminds me of All Might so much, you know? So many heroes were saved by All Might when they were kids. She's a huge inspiration. I grew up with her, and we actually used to be best friends. <laughs> He's like, I, I, I gotta, I gotta go. Nah, Loki. This is one of the funniest seasonal animes for sure. The show is hilarious. They want to know everything about their hero. They were in the bath for hours listening to Kafka. <laughs> Look at Kafka on the left. That's me. <laughs> Do simulations, you know, where you would go in certain events if a kaiju was there, how you would support, how you would attack. <laughs> They're arguing so much. But, oh, that was the right answer. Fuck. I love a good solid training montage, you know. I don't know who this girl is, but hey, shout out her, putting it away. She seems like a fitness freak. I love how one on the left has an electric toothbrush. W man's. He's got to put in more work than everyone else, you know? Got, got some catching up to do. I wonder when our first actual live kaiju combat's going to be. Got to get the extra work in, man. He gives me such old man Deku vibes, you know? Starting so far behind that he has to catch up. I love how he doesn't take him jokingly. Like he's, he's serious about saying that, you know? That's a bad sign. I don't like that, but... Speak of the devil. Our first live attack. Time for your first mission with his music. That was a fast-ass episode, I won't lie. All right, this is the next episode, episode six. All right, first mission, combat live, here we go. Obviously, it would be normalized with how many kaiju attacks happen, but it's crazy how normalized it is, you know? Oh, kaiju's attacking, gotta go. Underground while growing larger. Okay, I really like how in-depth they go for these strategies to minimize casualties and everything, you know? Oh, kaiju lights. They got the kaiju lights on. Okay, our first mission. I would say the same to you, Shinomiya, but I already know for a fact you're not going to disappoint me, so there's no point. Oh, and he's going to throw up. He's trying to focus on not getting car sick and nervous. That's the biggest thing I've ever seen. It has like fucking spores that it just pops. It has ads that it just creates. That's insane. Oh, 
Okay. Fully agree. We have to minimize casualties. That's a good point. You're in the safest, but you're also our last line of defense if it does end up going to shit. All right, it's time for our peeps to put in some work. Yeah! I'm nervous that you say that because normally when you say stuff like that, it doesn't. But I, I'm also excited as well. I don't know if that's going to... I was about to say, I don't know if that's going to do some good damage or it's not even going to scratch it gonna be one of the two you know i do know the defense force uses very specialized weapons to combat these kaiju because holy sh look at this thing bruh there's two speedy maybe slow them down a little bit with some obstructions help us out with that this year's recruits got some big brain plays I love how we have the two individual. We have three individual rivalries. Shinomiya and Kafka, Ichikawa Iharu, and these two. I love it. Yep. Cougar mode? Cougar mode? Who is this vice captain? If anyone is the master at gathering an intellect like that on kaiju, it's you. Go study those corpses. You're the corpse master. Need the support you can be. I'd appreciate that insanely, my boy. It's so much easier cutting up. Yeah. That's kind of a cool little addition. He's, he's been cutting up corpses for years. <laughs> he's thinking about his old job. For a fungal type mushrooms. So it has a changed core location. Once he finds out where its core is, that info can be relayed and he'll be a huge asset. The corpses might even spawn new Yoju. W information. That's some damn fine work to say the least. W job Kafka. We love to hear it. I love his attitude. I love his mindset. He might not be the main character, even though he is, but you know, do everything you can. Now we got Mina about to go crazy. We got the Oculus VR headset on with a fucking turbo cannon. One round loaded. This thing is insane. This is who I am, Kafka. I love how we're getting the show. Ninety six percent. I'm watching. Oh, I love the way they slow that down and animate that. Oh my god. You can see its core right there. Uh-huh. And just like that, Mina has killed the biggest creature I've seen in this show to date. I bet you he's nice. With the double dagger? Oh my god, that was so clean! Oh. He's much better at the old technique of kaiju hunting with a sword. Oh. I need to see more Hoshina. That's for damn sure. Yeah. What's the name? Isn't there an official term for a really short katana? Doesn't it start with like a W? Walk I don't want to say it and just sound like stupid and ignorant. 
But I know Gen Ichimaru has one in Bleach, right? Like a short katana? Like how he has two? Damn, boy's getting CPR on the back. He looks like he's dead. Who is it? Ichikawa? I love that answer. He might not have been the most talented off rip, but his progression is well exceeding most people. Oh, it's the dude. One of the cleaners who's undercover as a kaiju. He's looking for dead kaiju to bring back to life. He loaded them with reproductive organs. Oh, thank the Lord I'm watching one more. Wait, that was episode two? Is that episode six or five? What the? F that was two episodes? That shit went, felt like one. All right. That was a fantastic session. Fantastic group of episodes. I am... Like I said, I'm impressed, especially with how quickly we met the side characters, how much I'm really already liking them. You know, like obviously Shinomiya, Ichikawa, and Kafka are my favorites by far, but the, I have their names down. The uh, red haired guy, Iharu, I'm liking his rivalry, the military guy, um, Aoi, and then Haruichi, the green guy, and then Hoshina. Obviously all the characters I'm really liking. I like a lot of the concepts, the relationships and how that differs. Like uh, Shinomiya's relationship with Kafka is very different than his relationship with Mina. Very different with Ichikawa, you know, like great animation, great soundtrack, great characters, great art style, great pacing. Like in terms of just overall aspects of the show, there's not a single aspect that's, that's lackluster for me. Everything is well at what I expected, if not exceeding my expectations. So, you know, thoroughly enjoying this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Check out that Patreon if you guys want the early access or the whole uncut versions of the shows we're watching. Don't forget to come over to the Twitch. We are watching this live before we post all the videos to the YouTube and Patreon. I appreciate y'all. Like always, don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.